Hello, Roger Bisbee here from the Skill Builder Help Desk, and this is a question we get asked quite a lot. This one comes from Darren, but it seems to be a very common problem. Now, Darren's got this garage here. You can tell it's a fairly new house, and these garages are built with a single brick, or what we used to call a half brick. But anyway, one brick thickness. So what he's got on the inside is this bit of damp here, and it's just coming through the wall. You can see just around there he's very helpfully shown it and also down at floor level he's got a bit of damp coming in under the door and this picture clearly shows that he's got a damp proof course there but the mortar isn't filled in that well in between the bricks so he's got a bit of water coming in there but anyway the internal floor level in his garage is the same height as the outside ground level anything that gets through there is going to appear on the inside so here's a picture of his internal floor level. This shows that when the rain comes in, he's getting a patch of damp appearing on the floor. These bricks are porous. They're not very good bricks. Uh, fairly modern flint and brick, and um, they do let the water through. So what he could do is you could paint some black bitumen all the way along that internal brick just up to the damp proof course there's no real need to put it above but what he's showing here is he's also got water coming down the wall and that runs you can see the staining there and in the heavy rain that penetrates through that one course of bricks which is very very common because if you've got a cavity wall the the driving rain would very often penetrate that outer skin of brick and then it would run down the inner side just like this but you would never see it because it would disappear into the foundations and you had your internal skin to protect you but in this case all you've got is that one skin of brick and the water pouring down so what he could do on the outside is to paint the whole of the brickwork with something like storm dry it's not cheap i mean it cost him about 100 quid a tub or somewhere around there but it doesn't alter the color of the brickwork slightly darkens it if you like but it looks quite nice but all you've got to do is paint it on and it's kind of like a silicon if you like but it's a it's a better quality than a lot of those things it allows the moisture to escape from the wall but it will stop a lot of that penetrating moisture from coming in there and it will just run down now the other thing that he really needs to do is just along here is to cut a strip of these paving bricks away all the way along there and to put in an echo drain and an echo drain would mean that any water that got down there rather than flooding in between the brickwork would be taken away safely he could run it along the front of the garage to stop that bit of water coming under the, the garage door. And that, I think, would be a very worthwhile thing to do because a lot of garages, a lot of buildings are built with those. You can do most of the work himself. If you're not good with an angle grinder, Darren, then maybe get somebody in to cut those bricks away. Then you can lay the drain in. If you've got this problem, and it's particularly in the heavy rain, you find that there's water coming through those bricks, it's something you can't do an awful lot about unless you're going to render the outside of the garage to waterproof those bricks unless you use something like storm dry and fill in any gaps in the brickwork if there are any howling gaps if you can see daylight through the bricks then definitely fill those in but if it's just a question of the water soaking through the bricks in the heavy rain then something like storm dry is the perfect product for the job i hope that helps i hope that helps you darren and i hope that helps other viewers with a similar problem come back and see us soon keep the questions flooding in see what i did there oh yeah don't forget to sign up to our newsletter